Hey everybody, this is Guy's Comic Life. Comic fans, toy fans, welcome. Welcome to another video. I'm sorry it's been a long one, but got new comic book day haul for you. And uh, first thing I'm gonna show you guys is I finally picked up the Mysterio Marvel Legend. This guy was nearly impossible to track down. He came out in February in Southern California and after, what is that? Three months of uh, toy hunting, I finally got him. If you can get your uh, hands on him, I totally recommend picking him up. Love these cool effects that he comes with on his hands. Pretty dope. Very underrated villain. I love, I love me some fishbowl head. Don't take that out of context. But I got the clear head variant. Uh, the green head's the one that like came out in Canada. It's like a lot, lot harder to, uh, a lot harder to find. Probably help with some light. All right, let's get to the comics. I'm gonna show you the branded new books that came out this weekend, or week. So today is May 9th, and Donny Cates officially began writing Venom. This is number one. This is the sketch artist blank variant. Um, let's see if I can get like a really good Venom artist to uh, do a sketch at a convention the first uh, blank cover I've ever got for anything. But they had it and I said, why the hell not? That's the regular uh, Ryan Stegman cover. Pretty cool. There's a lot of variants for uh, for this Venom. I'm really excited for uh, Donny Cates to write it because his run on Thanos was absolutely brilliant. Uh, see, I got it. 798, uh, the Venom variant with uh, Mary Jane coming home based on uh, the ending of 299, Amazing 299, when she comes home and gets scared by Venom. So, yeah. First Red Goblin. Here's another variant cover. This is Amazing Spider Man number 797. Now, I'm actually gonna. I'm not really liking the light situation here, so I'm going to move a little bit. There we go. So yeah, 797. This is the Mighty Thor. A Jane Foster fighting Venom. Okay. End of an era. Batman White Knight issue 8. This is the variant Sean Gordon Murphy created something very special with this comic book. Um, still have yet to read the conclusion. And here is the fourth print. Ah, there goes Mag. There goes Mysterio. I almost called on Magneto. I don't know why, but Magneto was on my mind. But yeah, here's um, here's the fourth print, issue number one. That was also at the shop today. I picked up uh, two comics of DC Nation, you know, only a quarter each, and they did like, uh, I don't know, it, sh it should have been a free comic, because I got them on free comic book day, but they were a quarter each. Okay, key book right here, hot, hot book, Scooby-Doo issue 25, this is uh, the variant cover, who did this variant cover? I think Hitch drew this variant cover. Uh, Death of this is, they actually killed one of the uh, killed one of the main cast. Spoiler and one, two, three. They killed Fred Jones. So yeah, rest in peace, Fred. I'll be a hot book. Um, not really liking Detective Comics right now. Really waiting for Tinian to get off the book, but I saw this variant to Detective 980 and I lost my damn mind like that is hot that is a hot cover really really digging that same with this one I haven't been reading the flash but this is issue 46 and I saw this variant and I whew. these aren't virgin covers but this is kind of like you know Marvel does the young guns and they do the title on the back. Well, they just do the title at the very bottom, right there. But it looks like a virgin cover. 
cool reverse flash right there. Um, just some stories that look really cool. Um, everyone told me to go pick up this Oblivion song. It's by Robert Kirkman, who did The Walking Dead. You know, the show that's going downhill. But the comic book's awesome. So this is issue one, and I can't wait to read it. And this is, um... Yeah, this is Barrier by uh, Brian K. Vaughn. He's a really good comic book artist. Well, uh, he's the writer. And, uh... Is issue one right there? It's really big. It doesn't even like fit in my comic bag. So those are all the brand new books that came out this week that I got. And here are just some other comic books that I picked up. Thanos 15, third print. Um, yeah, man, this is a Cosmic Ghost Rider. If you don't know, that's uh, Frank Castle, the Punisher. Really, seriously, this might be the best storyline of the year. Donny Cates. <whistles> so yeah, I have issue thirteen. I think I picked up a second print of thirteen. It's on the way. I want a, uh, I want thirteen graded. Hope I can get a hold of that. Okay, these are from a couple weeks ago. Hot for Wolverine number one. Pretty sure you guys picked up. I'll pick up this. Six dollar price tag, man. So dumb. But uh, Wolverine came back, and I wanted to see him come back, so I picked it up. Here we just got some Venom variant covers. This is uh, the Weapon H variant to uh, issue two. It's got Venom and Jack Lantern. And then we have the Mighty Thor issue 706, the last issue, where uh, Jane Foster comes back after dying. This is the Mark Bagley variant. It's got uh, Venom and J. Jonah and Spidey. And it's actually based it's based off of a John Romita cover. It's a cover swipe. So that's really hot. Mark Bagley is one of my favorite Spider-Man artists. Okay. That this might be my favorite comic cover of the year so far. Batman number 46. I don't like the Booster Gold storyline, um, but this cover, like holy crap. I don't know who drew that, but they did an amazing job. Amazing job. Okay, continue. This storyline is amazing as well. Um, District 31. The, uh, it's the continuation of like finding out that Damien isn't Batman's son. He's actually Deathstroke's son. Okay, and this is a two-issue miniseries. I'm, honestly, I don't know why they just didn't make it one huge book and do like a $6 tag on it. But this is Harley Loves the Joker, and I mainly picked this up because Paul Dini wrote it, and Paul Dini created, pa Paul Dini created Harley Quinn, and every time Paul Dini writes Harley, it's amazing. And, yeah, it didn't disappoint. It was great. Next, I found the variant cover for Batman 32. I wanted this one because this is when Catwoman officially accepts uh, Batman's wedding offer. He proposes to her in issue 24, but she officially accepts in this, and this is the conclusion to the War of Jokes and Riddles. Uh, yeah, great. That's a great cover. It's kind of hard to make a bad Batman cover. Gotta be a really bad artist. All right, spec. Well, it's not really a spec book anymore, but it was earlier in the year. Now, Ant Man and the Wasp comes out in a couple months, and the villain of that movie is the Ghost. And I'm like, I'm gonna try to find his first appearance. I found this in a dollar bin. This was one dollar. Now. It's probably in fine condition, uh, and it's probably like a six, six or a seven, but still, I mean, I could easily sell this for twenty dollars. I'm not going to. Um, this comic is gonna blow up even more when the movie comes out. People, I mean, people probably don't even know who the villain is if they're not a comic fan. Um, but yeah, first appearance of the ghost, Ghost in the Machines, a really great cover. 
like the only complaint I have, I mean, it has white pages, like it just has a little bit of browning on the spine. That That's like the only thing that brings the grade down. And I didn't just find 219, I also found 220, the second appearance of the ghost, and 221, the third appearance of the ghost. So I got all three of these for $3, $3. So check your dollar bins if you uh, are interested in the character Ghost. Anyway, that is my comic book haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, big week this week for books. I hope you all enjoyed Avengers Infinity War. What a treat. We've really been blessed with a lot of great comic book movies. But I don't think I've been blown away this much by a comic book movie since The Dark Knight. It really took my breath away. It really, really did. I don't think I've seen a movie in theaters this much since then. I've already seen it in theater three times. Probably gonna see it again. Um, I know you've all seen it, but if you haven't, go see it. Go see it. And uh, Magneto... I almost called him Magneto again. Alright, quit playing illusions on me, Quentin. Alright, Mysterio and I are signing off. If you like the video, please like comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Peace out.